Well, that was a highly productive meeting. Yes, I'd say we achieved a lot. Although I suspect we may have left some tasks unfinished. Perhaps we should schedule something for us later in the day. Mm, I'll have my people call you off. Bye, guys. Bye, Ursula. Toodles. Brilliant work, Dr. Warner. <clears throat> you know, I'm starting to believe that reputation of yours is true. What reputation? Nothing. He's just joking around. No, Harry, your dad's being modest. Have you ever heard of the phrase sly hookup? No. One day you will. And when you do, remember your dad was a high master. Like your cousin Isaac, though, he wasn't allowed to. At least not in the house. I don't get it. Don't even try. He's nuts. No bites. Not even a tiny one. Come on, I've got to get something out of this. Well, you seem to be enjoying the waffles. Ah, oh, well. Come on, Harry. Let's get you out of this inappropriate environment before sifts start knocking. What sifts? <laughs> Go on then, show me what you've got. Oh, it's for the baby. Close your eyes. And open. Cool or what? Huh? Oh, it's enormous. That's way too big for a baby. Well, then he or she can grow into it. Either way, this is going to be one styly bub. But check out the label. Did you pay full price for this? Oh. We're going to be poor teenage parents, Dan. If we're going to spend huge wads of cash, it should be on practical things like bottles and a cot. I know. Yeah. But I scored a freelance job today. And I can't help if I'm really excited about becoming your daddy. I'll spend the rest on nappies across my heart. You have to admit, it's seriously cute. OK. It's cute. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Hang on. All paid up. No cause for concern, see? Mate, I've got three teenagers and a husband who's broke. Do I look like I can afford a ticket? Yours? Yeah. Hope you don't think I'm pushing my frame in, but I have a serious allergy to those dickheads. Uh, you're not alone there. I wasn't going to pinch it, if that's what you're thinking. No, no, I'm just so surprised that anyone would be so incredibly decent. Please, you have to let me fix you up for that ticket. Don't worry about it. What goes around comes around and all that. Well, she can't do that. You're Ben's partner. Right. Anita is officially his next of kin. I'm going to take this upstairs and I'm going to end this insanity immediately. It's no use. If Ben and I were married, that would be different, but we weren't. Well, you're the most important person in his life, married or unmarried, on paper or not. Everybody knows that. What's happened? Ben's stupid sister. Officially, she's listed as the next of kin, so she's the only one allowed to make decisions. She's pushed you out. Tell her that she can't do that. I refuse to believe that it's legal. Unfortunately... Oh, well, stuff the rules. We work here, we have access to computer records. No, Gerald, I don't want you to. They'll sack you on the spot. I don't care. Look, let's not do anything drastic, OK? If this sister is a quarter of the person that Ben is, I'm sure she'll figure out what she's doing is wrong. You're right. Just for the record, I'm not stalking you. Really? I was rather hoping you were. <laughs> More shooting today? Just a couple of pickups and the odd stray release to sign. Oh, don't you worry, you're pretty hued about it. So how about a drink later? Are you free? Yes, but only if you tell me lots more about your sculpture. You know, you never did show me your guy Nan last night. Oh, I was distracted. <laughs> um, a bit of fly. Just uh, text me later. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Poor Yvonne was just standing there looking as if she was about to cry. Oh, you must have felt sick. Two coffees, thanks. But what can I do? Protocol is protocol. Who cares? Shutting her out like that is beyond cruel. Isn't there something we can do? Getting Anita to accept the inevitable might help. The intensivist went to great lengths to explain that Ben wouldn't recover. Chris did too. But she still won't accept it. Now she gets to make all the decisions over life support. By today, as it happens. Today. 
always wanted one of these. Somehow you don't feel like a real grown-up doctor without one. There's a scratch on mine. Look at this. It's beyond sloppy. Phone them and fix it, then. Hello again. Um, damsel in distress in the pay and display zone? Oh, wow, how weird is that? Well, seems you can return the favour sooner than you thought. Point me in the direction of a Dr Potts. Um, that would be... me. Right. I'm officially freaked out now. Wendy Cooper, I'm here about the practice nurse job. Word to the wise. You're up against some rather stiff competition. Just ignore him. I try to. Just take a seat. I think your CV is in here somewhere. Oh, look for the fairly short one. I've been out of the workforce for a bit. Well, away from nursing, at least. Um, home with the kids, I think I remember reading. Three of them. A 22-year-old, a teen and an almost. Plus a husband with his own business. Mm, hats off to you. I have an 18-year-old and he exhausts me. <laughs> I've trained them within an inch of their lives to look after themselves. I'm also doing a post-grad in community health care, but I'm a good juggler. Wow, all this and random acts of kindness. You really are superwoman. Look, I probably don't look that flash on paper, but I'm a good nurse and I love it. I've missed it like you wouldn't believe. And if you saw the size of our mortgage, you'll know that when I get a job, I'll do everything I can to hold on to it. Mm. Ripe for exploitation by the sounds of it. This is good. I know what you must have thought. Here we go, another batty old woman in denial. I didn't think that at all. You were going through so much. You were very patient, thank you. All in a day's work. Yvonne. What's wrong? This is off the record, but they are pushing Anita to make the call on life support today. That poor girl. She must be beside herself. Never mind her. Are you okay? I've made my peace. But Anita. I don't know whether she's made her decision yet. Then I should go and see her. She shouldn't be alone. You want a buddy? Hi. Hey. <clears throat> Don't you run away too. We still have to work together. That's going to be pretty unbearable if we can't at least try to be friends. Yeah, you're right. Is everything okay with Yvonne? How's she doing? Yeah, she's getting there. Get this. Babies are practically blind when they're born, but they can recognise their mum almost right away. Am I interrupting? No, no, you're good, man. So, swatting up for fatherhood, eh? Yes, yeah, swatting and working. Man, there's so much stuff we have to buy. I might have to get some extra shifts here and some IT work as well. Oh, don't wear yourself out, bro. You wouldn't enjoy the baby when it comes. True. <laughs> man, this is so cool, huh? At this time last year, would you ever have picked that I'd become a dad? Not with all those lectures I gave you. <laughs> <sighs> Look, me and Lauren were always super cautious. We even used to sneak condoms from your drawer. Way too much information. <laughs> it must have been fake. <laughs> it must have been something. Yeah. Uh.